Hi, my name is Gregory Coates and I'm an artist. I kind of would like to sort of define myself as, uh, as I sort of discovered myself. Um, I grew up as a painter uh, doing figurative work and I've somehow moved into mixed media and abstract work. Uh, now I'm doing more installation work that I deal, I think deals with uh, site specific. So I think I define myself as someone who's growing up in the arts. My inspiration comes out of necessity because uh, uh, making art can be really expensive and it's often um, where you can be held back if you don't have money. So my inspiration comes from invention and looking at things around me, uh, thinking about possibilities and uh, urban lifestyle. I like the urban experience. That gives me inspiration. How does my environment influence me? That's a good question also. Um, I've moved out of Manhattan some seven years ago where I had a lot of material that came from the street and sort of like serendipity that I found along my travels and uh, that was a big part of my art making um, construction and uh, now that I've moved out here I started to walk my dog a bit more and I've discovered the, the local farmlands and the fields and that agricultural um, notion has come into my work where I now work a lot more with lines that mimic nature and um, grass sprouting from snow. So I think my environment has shifted to more of a um, mature agrarian one, <laughs> even though I like the urban environment. The idea of being an artist is where I come from in terms of my history, my, my background. I grew up in Washington, D.C. It was a predominantly, uh, well, it was a black, blue-collar neighborhood in Washington, D.C. Uh, and I never was never raised to, to deal with race as any significant um, deterrent to my life. Uh, I always was taught to judge people on their character, and that's how I sort of live my life now. Uh, and then you realize that in the art world, you have people who call you a black artist, and I think, well, um, I just like to be considered an artist who happens to be black. Kiki has been part of many artists' lives, you know, uh, and mine certainly. And the artist needs support, and Kiki has been that support. Um, um, creating ideas, helping get people get paid, helping to create um, collections, um, running a gallery, um, curating, writing, I mean, things that I can't do that have su helped sustain me and us as a, as a, as a couple. What um, is it that brings you to art? Why do you take time to work within the arts? It's important. Um, somebody's got to do it. It's not easy. Like, like my friend Al used to say, you know, if Who's you... Who's Al? Al Loving is, a, is an artist that mm. died a couple of years ago. I worked with very closely over many years. But he used to say, well, if you wanted to do that, something easy, we'll be a doctor. And uh, <laughs> you know, making art is a lonely profession, and I always felt, you know, there needs to be somebody close that understands the whole thing, or at least tries to and, 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 and nudges and, and understands and, and does the things that need to be done without interfering. So I always felt I was good at that, and um, so that's what I've been doing. Where am I headed? That's, that's, I think where I'm headed is in, instead of having things on walls, I'm thinking I'm heading into installations where the, the visual impact comes from a, a walking into a space that becomes apparently uh, something that I've um, changed. I like to be able to use that notion of the edit, where I edit a place, and you can see evidence of my editing, uh, which is basically allowing you to see what I have left and not seeing what I took out.